गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स डॉक्टर सौरभ जोशी हियर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल अवेलेबल ओवर द पार्टिकल दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वेन यू आर गोइंग टू सी अ वॉटर सप्लाय सिस्टम एंड वॉटर ट्रीटमेंट सिस्टम इन दैट वॉटर ट्रीटमेंट सिस्टम इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑपरेशन इज नथिंग बट एरिएशन then there is a rapid mixing then there is a coagulation in a coagulation we are going to add a coagulant into a water dear student you take the example of your home that during the rainy season our mother used to revolve the alum in the water so as soon as she revolve alum in the water after some time the turbid particles are come close to each other and settle down so how it happens what is the funda behind it what is the chemistry behind it that today we are going to see dr saurabh joshi here today we are going to see a zeta potential by considering the objective we are going to understand the basic concept or the charge or the potential having on the particle let's have a glance towards the diagram so here we can see that there is a bulk of the solution so in the first lecture i i told you about what is the solute what is the solvent what is the solution now we are going to see that there is a bulk of the solution now let us we considered there is a surface charge the surface charge is always negative okay so inner part is a surface charge which is negative now if the surface charge is negative then dear student just tell me negative and negative repulsion will takes place so automatically the next layer is nothing but a stern layer in the stern layer which is made up of positive okay so because a surface charge is negative that's why surrounding there will be a positive ions or the positive atoms now they are a, a closely held to each other positive negative closely held to the each other next we, as soon as we go away from it then there is a mixing of positive and negative ions okay there is a mixing of positive and negative ions at the outermost uh, at the outermost layer so at the outermost layer you can see that they are loosely held because as soon as you are going going away from the surface potential to the uh, to the outermost orbit the bonding between the atoms the bonding between the ions is goes on reducing so i'll repeat it again here you can see that the at the at the at the core there is a surface charge which is presence of negative many students are having afraid about zeta potential and other thing i am trying to tell you the things in a very basic and coordinated manner so the inner part is a negative right okay so automatically the another atoms will come to the stern layer which is made up of positive because negative positive there is a attraction and it is near to the surface that's why that's why they are closely held to each other as you are going away from the surface charge then there is a one more layer that is called as a slipping plane you can see over here slipping plane is nothing but the outermost orbit of an atom okay so at the slipping plane there is a mixing of a positive and negative ions and which are nothing but a uh, loosely held so at the at the bottom you can see if you take a graph of a uh, distance from the surface on x axis to the ch charge on the particle you can see over here the surface potential having a very high charge as you are going to the stern potential the charge is goes on reducing okay and as you are going on a slipping plane also the charge reducing so any particle which is present on the slipping plane i'll repeat please remember any particle which is present on a slipping plane the charge on that particular particle is called as a zeta potential have you understood so at the outermost orbit you can consider any slipping plane at the out at the outermost orbit on any particle having a charge that can be denoted from by the zeta potential so dear student take down this diagram and try to write the explanation in your own language thank you